Inconvenient Panda back again for some more casual craft. Woo! And I bet you're wondering why I am in the nether with a vile sword. It has Vorpal on it, which I think is uh, the beheading thing. Because those guys, I want your skull. Yeah, right. Eh? Eh. Yeah. So I was just going to be running around here for uh, for a while, try and find as many of these guys as possible. So yeah, that should be interesting. Maybe. Uh, yeah. There's a regular skelly. Ah, here we go. Ow. Ow. Yes! I got your skill. I think I might have one. Um, maybe? I might have one at my base. I don't remember if it was the skeleton skull or what. Here we go. Yeah. And uh, I looked into it, you can't soul shard the wither skeletons because they're just skeletons, but they spawn in the nether, which changes them. Yeah. They're not uh, wither skeletons until they spawn, so the soul shard thing won't spawn them. If that makes sense. That makes sense. I hope it does. That was the explanation I was given. Oh. So yeah, I'm just using the Vile Sword. Just to get their skulls. Because of the Vorpal. I think I saw one over here. Yeah, I did. Yeah. I think... No. Alright. Oh, I think I heard one. Did I hear one? Hmm? I think I did. I'm sure I did. Oh, these nether fortresses are awesome. I just realized I don't really have to put up with the... the gas flying around. I could go and murder them. I can fly at supersonic speeds. And uh, as you can see, it uses quite a bit of my power in the top left there. So... That's... That's something. Yeah, I'm just going to be searching around for a while. Hopefully I find something. Um, hopefully I find some of these... Wither skull thingies. For uh, obvious reasons, I want to spawn the wither and kill it because now I have the equipment. Mm. I think I might be running around a bit too fast. I don't know, but I'll come back once I have a few of the thingies. What I could do actually. Hmm. I wonder if that'd work. Ah! I thought I was gonna break this because I don't need it anymore. I want to use this area for other things. Yeah. I don't really know how that'd work. What I'm trying to think of is how to get a skeleton spawner down here because a skeleton spawner in the nether will uh, spawn with the skele skeletons uh, on occasion. But it has to be a vanilla one. It uh, cannot be a thingamadoodler one. What are they called? Soul shards. Can't be one of them because for some reason that only spawns the skeletons, even in the nether. So, I'm not sure how that all works, but it's a bit annoying. Hmm. 
trying to think, how would I? How would I go about this? I don't know, but for now I'm just gonna look for the regular skulls. So I'll be back once I've got two more. Yeah. Alright guys, so I'm back. I haven't uh, actually got any more with the skeleton skulls, but while I was bored sort of waiting for them to appear, I've made this little area. Now, in that corner there, I actually built that corner out because it sort of went there and then cut back down there. So I bumped it out a little bit, and now when I stand about here and just sort of neander about in the corner quietly, hopefully I can get this to work. It usually takes a while. And I swear it just happened. I, th I think I'll uh, edit it until it happens. How about that? Maybe. I don't know. So it was just is this guy messing up my results. The too many entities. Well, basically, uh, with the skeletons can spawn right where he's standing, which is quite useful. If I just sort of potter around a little bit. Come on. Da 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 da. Come back. I wonder. Oh, come on. <laughs> it just happened. I swear it did. There were three wither skeletons. They all spawned in that area. But the important thing is I built that little corner there myself. So that must mean that um, for them to spawn, all they're really looking for is uh, nether brick whilst in the nether. So I could build this out pretty much as big as I wanted. This was like a bunch of winding hallways before, so I just sort of dug it out because I was sick of weaving in and around, but I might extend it to, uh, way out while I'm waiting for this stupid freaking thing to happen. Why is it happening now? Well, I'm just going to sit here and wait. So I'll be back once something happens. If something happens. No. Oh. It, it happened. Finally happened. Yeah. Um, I've been busy. Uh, about an hour. But still... Because the interesting thing is, I built that myself, and they're clearly spawning on it, so... This isn't necessarily a complete waste of time. Okay, maybe... Maybe it is. But yeah. Yeah, last time this room was roughly this big or something. I'm not sure. Yeah, about this big. And I've just been digging away at it. Because I figure, the bigger the room, the better. Yeah, there was a skelly back here. Sometimes these guys come in and ruin my evening. But yeah, so... From what I can tell, wither skeletons will spawn on nether brick I've placed myself. Because they just did over there. The hell? What do you drop? Nothing, apparently. Although it might be all this... sort of stopping drops. I don't know. I've been here way too long. Alright, guys. Uh, Yeah, I was just gonna make some... Uh, dark iron for funsies. I'm still pretty proud of that. Just how easily it works. 
There's no real point to it. But anyway, I um, made a little linking book down here. Yeah, pretty big area. Things do spawn over here. I uh, build it myself. Basically, anywhere there isn't a regular looking window, I've put in. Especially around this particular little area. But it, uh, it seems to work. It takes a while, but basically I just stand here and... I don't know, go and make a coffee or something. There's only so many times I can make a coffee. But yeah, uh, what that's resulted in... Is, uh... Well, that took overall about three hours. And I got 12. So... Yeah, I actually had two until about, I don't know, the last five minutes I got these ten. When I was like, ah, maybe I'll just get a few more. So, you know, that's that's a little annoying. But nonetheless, it's done. So now what we can do is... Um... Where on earth is it? Hmm. This is why I need an ME system thing. So much easier. What is it for? Got that. Alrighty. I want to put away everything I don't want to lose in case I get murdered. Because I'm going to spawn the weather. I'm going to spawn it good. I'm going to attack it with a chainsaw. I don't know how it'll go, to be perfectly honest. Maybe I want something that does a bit more damage. I'm not really sure how much damage this does. That could be interesting. Let's uh, check out this room. See what we got. Repair two. Fire aspect. Yeah, repair two again. A bunch of repairs. Infinity, blah, 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 smite, sharpness. I will take both of those. Uh, I don't know what smite does exactly, but eh. So, yeah. Repair, sharpness, and uh, fire aspect. I'm going to make a diamond sword. I have... I, ooh, that's... Mm, okay. Mental note, don't be an idiot. There we go. So I wanna just make that real quick. So I think uh, an enchanted diamond sword would do a bit more damage than uh, my thingama biddler advanced chancer. So I'll rename this. Panda sword. And I'll put repair on it. Which is only eight. Okay. Maybe uh, sharpness. So that does twelve. Okay. All right. Yeah. Panda short. So bump that up straight away to sharpness five. No, I guess it only goes to four. Oh well. Put a bit of repair on it. Yeah, can't put repair on it. So, uh, fire aspect, you can do that one. Why as you will. Fire aspect goes up to two, I imagine. Uh, so, let's see, efficiency? Can I put efficiency on you? No. Um... 
Uh, what's it called? Uh, I think can't think of its name. Is there like a list of enchants? There's an enchanted book. That doesn't really help. Hmm. What do we got over here? Blast, fire, power. Power? I don't really know what that is. Uh, Corporal. Feather falling, disjunction. Disjunction's the head one, by the way. So. I'm pretty sure. What was that Vorpal? I don't remember. It's one of them. I, uh, need an extra skill. So I'm going to be doing this in my, uh, Digger's Edge. Don't mind this. Yeah, just every time I travel via book to a new world. So I have mysteriously died suspiciously a few times doing that. So... If I go... I'll go south quite a ways. Alright. This... Whoa. Ah! I grew off. I'm trying to... I'm trying to do something! Hmm. Alright. Uh oh. Come on. Come on, guys. Ha! Yeah, that works. Alright, quickly dodge it. Now we're gonna be spawning. The Wither! Oh god, it's horrible. Probably not the best spot to do this, eh? Oh, there we go. Kill it! If my chainsaw is better. Stop flying up, you dick. That's the problem with him. He flies upwards. He makes quite a mess. Ow! God. I'm losing all the powers. Because he likes to stay above you, he's really annoying. Eh, take this. Did I get it? Uh, this would be interesting. Hey! Lag! happening can I have it yay another star I got worried for a second Whew. badass pretty happy I got this yeah that went well didn't take too long So, what should I do with this nether star? Hmm, what should I do? Beacon? No. Advanced nuclear information reader? Eh. No. Miniature black hole? Hmm. With the nether star, it's going to Ah, it requires four of them. Pointless. It is a good way to duplicate them, by the way. But what I'm interested in is actually this guy. Why? Because portal gun! Finally get a portal gun. <laughs> it's been so long. Ender pearl dust. How do I... I smelt it? I can macerate it. It gives me literally one more, which uh, I do not need. I'm curious, is uh, 
Like what? Uh, what other use would I have for it? Gravity gun supercharged. Shapeless hmm. gas. Okay. Don't really know. So I don't need a beacon. I don't need that. I want this. So yeah, I'm just gonna use up this nether star because it doesn't really seem to be any other use for it that I'm interested in. And by seem, I mean literally no other use. Because I'm not using nuclear power because I just don't understand it. I tried looking into it and it's just... It's a bit complex, I'd say. So... Um... Alright, let's create our miniature black hole. Oh, he's so cute. Ah. Alright. Miniature black hole! Bling! There it goes. There it goes. Portal gun. So, I want obsidian, diamond, iron. Okay. Looks like the standard recipe just, uh... I mean, compared to... Uh, last version. Just now it requires another star, because that's new to this version, isn't it? I don't know when the nether star got introduced exactly. Well, let's have a go, shall we? Default portal gun! Oh, yeah! <laughs> it does it every time, that's... God, the model on it's awesome. These models. I think I'll just go over there. Oh, okay. And you can turn off one portal at a time. Yeah. If I tap R, it resets it. If I hold R and then say right click, turns off that one, left click, that one. I wonder if there's a way to cancel it. Nope. As soon as you press R, make sure you... Uh, get rid of the portal closest to you and not furthest away, because that'd be, uh, kind of annoying. But yeah, portal gun. Badass. <laughs> uh. Okay. Hmm, I wonder. be rotating me. That's weird. Uh, uh, there we go. <laughs> I did it. Oh no, I don't. I don't feel well. Stop it. Ah. Uh. Yeah, portal gun. Yay! All right, guys. So, uh, I just broke this. For reasons, uh, I don't. I don't need it going anymore. Actually, I mean, sure, it's my only way of charging this stuff, which actually I might want to do. But it was more for this thing. Like, um, these can more than keep up at the moment. So, blue bottle gun. So, I bet you're thinking, what's next? Well, that's a very good question. I don't know what I want to do next exactly. What I think I'll start with is... Uh, just sort of upgrading, well, this, actually, so I can charge this just by standing here. Because that was a nifty feature. And they are... Charge pads? The little electronic one, yeah. So that requires an MF. 
God, I don't have enough diamonds for that. Hmm. So what I might do is just, uh... Well, if I pinch the one I've got, then that's it, isn't it? There's a dilemma. Soon to be solved. So I need... Six diamonds. Six. I really don't like using the minium stone, but... Eh. What are you gonna do, Joe? So I want... Um, was it two electronic circuits? Uh, two advanced. Three advanced. And I clicked the wrong thing. So, three advanced circuits. Circuits, circuits. Do I have any laying around? I should. At least I thought I did. Hey, how'd you get in there? Um... Yeah. Oh, I do have an MFE laying around. Well, that's, uh, weird. But I'll go with it. I thought I did. And it turns out I did. So, still three circuits. Advanced machine block, which is alloys and stuff. Alright, so there's nothing useful in there anymore. Okay. Uh, advanced allies. Got one. Need two of you. Grab you. Is that really it for advanced allies? I don't want it to be. Please, no! Yeah, that looks like it. So, I'm gonna have to craft some up. Craft some up. Is there any... Um... What was it? Refined bronze and tin... Ah, bronze. Yeah. One, two, three. One, two, three. Alright. Let's get this a crafting. One, two, three. Ten. Gives me four bronze. Of course it does. <laughs> Mixed metal ingot. Good. Uh, I was compressing netherrack. I ran out of the usefulness with the netherrack. I don't have a use for it, so I just thought, yeah, I'll compress it. Gives a care. So now I need a machine block. Yeah, that'll do. Actually, I will need a bit more of this. Ah, for fucks. Right, so I'll grab that. Uh, should have cables somewhere there. Right. So I want Barry uh, out. Are we kidding? Now, this is all part of the fun, I suppose. Having to constantly run back and forward between things. I'll just make it like this. Um, copper that. So, like that, like that. And that, charge that, we have three of you, so 
I'm gonna need uh, glowstone, and a lapis. Lapis. So let's go. Yeah. Three advanced circuits. Advanced machine block. I will need a machine block. Possibly more at some point. I don't know. I don't know. That and that. That's the MFE. The advanced machine block. So now I just need the... Things. Is that enough redstone? It isn't. Alright. Bit of a butt. Oh, I'm gonna need electronic circuits for that as well. Where's my copper? Give me that. Give me that. I'm sure I had more rubber somewhere. And that's not enough. So... Eh, whatever. Yeah. Wait. Find iron, redstone. Okay. And... Bloop. And... Bloop. And... Bloop. So... No, wait, I need a shit ton of this. So I need 12. Oh, God. <sighs> Whatever. I'll just do that. I had a bunch of paper for some reason, and I've completely forgotten why. Where's my rubber at? I should have a heap of it somewhere. There's, there's a big portion. That's not bad. Four! Ah, I'm an idiot. Ha! <laughs> Go figure. Fourteen. That's too many. Oh well. I'm probably gonna need uh, a bit more lapis. I'd imagine. Eh, uh, not advanced. So one, two, three, four, five. Oh, 60 U. Good. So we'll go, um, advanced circuit, MFE, advanced machine block, all the Lapatrons. And that gives us the MFSU. Pretty cute. I need two more carbon plates, a uh, pressure plate. I think that's just stone, isn't it? Do I have stone? Uh, yeah. All right, that works. Badass. And then. Oh, perfect. Had just enough. You guys, dip, dip. No pressure plate. MFSU to advanced circuits and we get ourselves That's the one I want, right? <laughs> I hope it is. The Lapidotic Charge Pad. Now what do I do with this? Uh That's a good question. Hmm. I don't want to waste the energy, but I don't really know how to get it out of there. Uh, 
wonder if I have an energy crystal laying about anywhere. Or a battery or something. Nah. That's a butt. Oh dear. Uh, I can put you, 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 you. Put the paper in. Yeah, put all this crap in. Let's see just what flops in here. Got a lot of these. A humus. I think I'll make a, a somewhat dedicated bead chest. It'll be this one. I'll put it there for now. Oh. Yeah, whatever, you can just sit there. Um. Diamonds. Four. Is that enough? I think it's enough. Diamond! Yay! Now I'll make that into one of these. Just so I'm not completely wasting the power. I can't charge it. Oh, that's in. Where's the out? Well, there was really no point to that then, so that was a waste of well, gold, I suppose. Whatever, I'll just break it. Wow, that hurt everything. Ha! Whoa! And I had a full quantum gravity suit thing on, and that took almost half my health. There's some tough chickens in here, by, by the looks of things. Alright, mental note. What I will do is very carefully, I don't want to break anything useful. We go like that. Uh, grab some of you. like that. Yeah, don't want to be wasteful, he says after exploding himself and some chickens. Lapidrite charge pad. So, does that work? It works! Yay! Badass. That's just gonna charge up over time. Pretty much. Um... I'll grab this. What I should be able to do. If I come out here and go bloop. Yeah, this that's a bit quicker. Come here. Come here. And now you're useless. But yeah, that'll charge up as it sees fit. And if I go bloop. Good, I can take the energy back out. So, I think I'll, um, yeah. Well, now that I've done that, I guess I can run back over here. Yeah, that's doing. Slowly but surely. Hmm, don't really want to steal power from that. That was its own dedicated thing. Well, I have a charge pad now. So. Yeah, that is slow. That's begrudgingly slow. What are you? Low voltage. Um. Well, I still kind of need my recyclers. So 
I think I can just leave this going over here. Uh, well, honestly, I think that's going to wrap up this particular episode. Yeah, it's been quite a good one. Lots of interesting things have happened. Portal gun. Pew! So I can just... I'll just go over here. And, uh, have a look at these sheep and trees. Oh, they're not in trees. Cows on ground. Mm. Oh yeah, the floating, floating island thing. Alright, uh, I'm done with this. So. <laughs> it's just so cool. Bleh. But I have been and still am the Inconvenient Panda. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.